Hi everyone, Coach Zach here. It's been a couple weeks since I've posted anything. I've uh, intentionally been kind of pulling back a little bit from uh, Facebook especially, but uh, social media, YouTube, since I keep getting kicked off, my Vimeo channel's been removed. So, cut back a little bit, but sometimes the news just gets too ridiculous and you can't not say something about it. So, first thing I wanna do is uh, just to update everybody, make sure that you guys are all aware that uh, the Biden administration um, has made historic progress. I got this actually directly from the White House website. Uh, made historic progress on our nation's ability to manage COVID-19. So we can all start breathing easy again and kind of go, all right, maybe we're past that. Um, but what they also have done is they've gone to the next level of really protecting us. And they've prepared the Office of Pandemic Preparedness and Response. And uh, so with that is that we've got this whole new government office that's gonna prepare us for the next upcoming pandemics. And I thought it was interesting is that the person who's been put in charge of that is Major General Paul Friedrichs. I did a little research on him, kind of did a little digging just to see who we'd be in for um, as, as the guy that's gonna be taken over. He's uh, been in the military, he was actually chief surgeon. Um, but during the COVID, he was a huge proponent of vaccines, making sure that uh, all the service people that are out there serving us, that we want to be as healthy as possible, got the jab and was into court-martialing them if they opted not to. He was pushing for that. He also is uh, very um, strong behind um, any kind of lockdowns, any kind of mandates, um, just to make sure that they have ultimate control over us. So it's encouraging to know that we have somebody like that who's going to be in charge of this uh, pandemic preparedness that's coming up. Um, on that note, I want to throw this in there real quick, is, is that that we've been taking great steps over the last three years uh, to make sure that our office is an office of pandemic preparedness. And the great thing about that is as a private membership association, we can make our own rules and we don't have to be under the guidelines or the jurisdictions of the health departments and the chiropractic boards and all those things. So when the next pandemic, pandemic comes along and they tell you you can't show your face, you have to hide in secret and you can't do those things, um, find a private membership association to join so that you can continue to be social, interact, and get the things that you need to be taken care of so you can be healthy. Um, with that said, um, got a new disease that we've got to start paying attention to. Um, apparently, it's not so much a new disease. It's just one that I never heard of before. It's been around a while, but there just isn't a whole lot of recognition of it. So this is called the alpha-gal syndrome, and it turns out a little different than what I was expecting when I first saw alpha-gal syndrome. I thought I was supposed to be nervous because men have already been emasculated in our society but this has nothing to do with that so rest easy gentlemen um, this isn't about you know alpha gals as we might expect but this is actually a condition that can make a person allergic to red meat and dairy so apparently there's this rogue lone star tick that uh, can take and bite you and uh, the secretions in there can trigger your immune system and make you allergic to red meat and dairy but with that, again, we've got the Biden administration that approved last month um, the commercial sale of lab-grown or cultured meat. So that means that you can still get your meat even though it doesn't come from a cow. And um, so God bless the, the administration. And this approval, by the way, was granted to Bill Gates-backed companies Good Meat and Upside Food. So again, we've got some good people in our pockets that are taking good care of us with the, uh, the current administration and uh, heroes like Bill Gates that are back there. Um, just kind of for fun facts, New York City Mayor Eric Adams, he vowed to reduce meat consumption in the name of health and climate change. So with that said is, is that, uh, you know, if we're concerned about this alpha-gal syndrome and uh, maybe we get a tick bite, that type of thing that takes place, you know, good news is, is we got Bill Gates coming up with fake meat for us and we've got uh, people that are in charge in high positions in places like New York City that uh, recognize that if we can get away from, you know, the cows that fart and that kind of thing, then we can protect our climate as well. So with that is that the news just keeps getting nuttier. And uh, I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that you're getting prepared for the next pandemic and uh, doing that by equipping yourselves with the truth that we've been anchored to from day one, which is that God didn't forget anything. He made our bodies with this amazing immune response and that as long as we take care of ourselves, do the things that we need to do, align ourselves with the right people, the right thoughts, keep things going the right direction, that we get to, in, get to enjoy optimal health and a vital life. So with that said, God bless you all. Make today a great one. We'll be in touch.